Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I want to do a, an additional video, you know, telling how I feel about the whole proposed gun ban, assault weapons ban, and and of course talk about the uh, Connecticut shooting again. And it's kind of a like I had time to really think about it. I mean, I gave it a lot of thought. Obviously, it's been consuming a lot of people's minds and their thoughts and their prayers are you know with all these people and their families. And this morning I saw, you know, they had a moment of silence that just lasted forever because there was so many, so many victims, you know, and it was amazing to, you know, you hear a story, it's one thing. And then when you see pictures of these actual kids and stuff like that, it's, it's like almost too much to bear. But I've been giving this a lot of thought. Now, obviously, when I made the video, the first video on it, my feelings, and I was basically stating that I think that there should be more guns in the right hands and that things like this could be stopped sooner if there's more good people who are armed. And I still believe that, you know, but my my first video was definitely a biased, emotional driven video. A lot of people saw it as being strange, you know, what we talking about more guns, it could create more problems. I'm not interested in the conflict of interest or anything like that. Yes, I have a bias. I'm, I'm pro Second Amendment. I'm pro guns. I enjoy being a firearms owner. I do everything properly, like all of us do on YouTube. You know, all us gun owners, we do the right thing. You know, we don't buy firearms illegally. We don't we don't play around with the law. Okay, we all do the right thing, and we have our guns legally. More than anything else, I was very frustrated because I'm I'm picturing the scenario playing out. I'm picturing this just lunatic walking through the halls, picking off these kids. And obviously that's very upsetting. And all I want to do is, you know, in, in envisioning that, I want to scream out, someone shoot him back, shoot at him. You know, you need a gun to stop a gun. Whether you think it's right or wrong, it's the fact. All right, you have an effective weapon being used to commit a crime, you need an equally effective weapon to stop the crime. Anyway, now that I had more time to think about it, um, and I really, I do think of both sides, you know, I'm not just one sided. I, I've talked to a lot of people about this pro gun, anti gun, um, some really strong opinionated people. And, you know, I understand their point. If you've never been around guns, don't care about them at all, it would be a very simple thought okay, there's another public shooting. Let's get rid of guns. This is ridiculous, right? I understand that thought. It's just not that simple and it's not that easy. And I really thought about it more. And ultimately, my my reaction to this after giving it a lot of thought is that there's nothing that needs to be done now i know that's going to raise more eyebrows what are you talking about first you said more guns now you're saying don't do anything there's nothing we can do there's really nothing that we can ever do to prevent something like this from happening it's impossible all we can really do is plan better to maybe counter an issue like this that's why my first video was suggesting you know, a solution, you know, having more guns in the right hands may stop like may stop something like this sooner, but there's no way to prevent it. There'll always be bad people. There'll always be bad people doing bad things. It doesn't matter what tools they use to do it. They will do it. Sometimes they will accomplish it. Sometimes they won't. If you get rid of the guns, they'll use bombs. I've talked about this a million times. It doesn't make a difference. I stand very strong with the, uh, you know, the argument that Laws only affect people who care about laws, and bad people doing bad things are never affected by laws. They disregard them completely, so it's not an issue. Plus, with this specific case, this guy wasn't even of legal age to own the, the firearms, so it shouldn't be a firearms problem, uh, and a law problem. You, you can't fix a law. Like, the concept that we need to make, you know, we need to ban guns or make it hard to get should have no play on this particular instance because he didn't do anything legally if it was a legal gun owner who went on a rampage then you may have a better argument uh, against that person have getting you know having access to those guns you know I don't know there, there really is no solution to this but that's my my major point is saying that I don't there's nothing we can do I don't think we need to freak out every single time something bad like this happens there's a general consensus that we have to do something to stop. Like, this is ridiculous. This is horrible. We need to stop this. We can't ever stop this. Unfortunately, I predict, you know, after seeing Obama get up there and talk to America, 
and and word for word say you know i will do everything in my power as president to make sure this comes you know to an end and there'll be a resolution to this and what he means is that he will do everything in his power to push for more gun laws anti-gun laws more gun restrictions the specifics it doesn't even matter it's going to be bad more than likely they'll, they'll be the obvious you know get rid of high capacity magazines high capacity you know they'll limit everything to like 10 rounds like in california They'll get rid of scary looking guns. And here's my prediction. I really want to fight against this, and I believe everyone watching this video feels very similar to me. And that and a lot of you pro Second Amendment guys and girls out there, you will fight. You will fight the good fight. But I really, really predict that we're not gonna win this one. And there will be some restrictions against guns. There will be a new revised assault weapons ban of some kind. Details don't really make a difference. Um, something bad will happen, and our rights will be restricted. I really see that happening, okay? Um, I don't know if there's any way around. Of course, I don't want it to happen, but that's what I really see happening. But I will also make another prediction. I really feel like if and when that happens, whether it happens or not, there will be another shooting, okay? You can almost guarantee it. I mean, it's a pattern. Uh, there's enough mess of people out there and shootings happen all the time. You don't always hear them in the news, but they're happening all the time. Uh, some get more attention than others. Obviously it's got attention because of the, you know, it's extreme nature, but there'll always be shootings. There'll always be stabbings and break-ins and home, home invasions, all that kind of crap. Right? So my question is after you guys do pass, and when I say you guys, I'm talking about anyone who wants this to happen. After you do pass this assault weapons ban, what are you going to say when there's another public shooting, you know, with a shotgun or a less scary weapon, maybe a, a sporting rifle that's allowed, you know, 10 rounds. Guess what? Guy killed 15 people. How is that possible? Oh, that's right. He reloaded. You're going to make it illegal to reload your gun. doesn't matter if your magazine holds one round. doesn't matter if you have a bolt action rifle. Look at the guy in the, you know, these snipers. These guys that pick people off uh, from a, a tower somewhere, you know, that stuff happens all the time too. They don't have uh, machine guns. They don't have, and it's really annoying, um, the terminology that's misused. People are referring to these guns as military guns. Obviously, if you have a little knowledge about firearms, it's frustrating to see that the public, they don't need to know or maybe, you know, I don't think they need to be educated on this stuff, but they don't certainly don't need to put their opinion in. And of course, news stations, they have their own uh, propaganda that they're trying to push and their own opinions, and they will filter through and they'll find the one person that says exactly what they want to portray on their specific news channel, okay? And you'll get someone who get interviewed and they'll say, well, I don't understand why these people have access to these types of guns, these, these dangerous military guns. That's not right. Civilians shouldn't have these. And like uh, us, we understand what they're saying and we are annoyed <laughs> that they don't know what they're talking about. Uh, and then, of course, you know, when you get uh, people saying that, you get other people watching watching the news and they go, yeah, you know, I agree with that woman. Why do they have these kinds of crazy weapons? It, it's mis misinformation and that's um, detrimental. And it's really, really hurting um, pro-Second Amendment people's argument because people, how can you argue about something if you don't know what the facts are, you know? And... and Ultimately, we all agree things like this should stop, but there's just, there really is no solution. There's nothing we can do to ever prevent a public shooting. And you know what? If we, you know, like the NRA is proposing that we have a security guard at every school in, you know, in the country, that's a lot of money to do that. Now, although I still agree, I, I don't think it can hurt anything, but there's a lot of different things to think about. There's a lot of factors there. And of course, if we did something like that, and just by chance, one of these armed guards goes nuts and ends up shooting the school himself, then, you know, they'll backfire, no pun intended, but you don't know who's going to be crazy or what they're going to do or where they're going to do it. If we guard up all of our schools, there'll be 7-Eleven shootings, there'll be gas station shootings, there'll be something else, there'll always be messed up people doing messed up things, there's nothing we can do to prevent it. But what we can do, and what's logical, is as civilians, as individuals, if you want to feel more protection, you can arm yourself, you know, well, and a separate issue too. It's, it's really sickening to see all these, uh, gun companies really making a, just a buttload of money right now. 
uh, off of this this incident, this uh, this tragedy. They know people are going to be buying guns and gun accessories no matter what, so their 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 prices are through the roof. And it really is it's disgusting to see that people are making a lot of money off of this. The media is making a lot of money. Gun companies make a lot of money. Anti-gun activists are making a lot of money. You know, it's all about money and politics. These poor people, I, I you know, it it's disgusting. That's our society. But yeah, those are my predictions. There, there'll be another shooting. And you know what? I really think that they're going to do something to restrict our gun rights. I really believe that we're not going to get past this one because, I mean, you know, I, I personally didn't think that Obama would get reelected. And if the if more people in the country want Obama to be president, which is obviously, you know, true because he's president, I think there's more people out there who are against guns that who are for guns. And unfortunately, I, I think they're going to have a louder voice this time around, and we're going to lose this battle. We won't lose the war, but we'll lose this battle, and uh, it's not going to be good. And uh, it's not going to do anything. It's not going to stop anyone from doing anything bad. All it's going to do is hurt us, good people. It's going to hurt people who are enjoying their hobbies, you know, who are buying guns and shooting them for sport. More importantly, people who are buying them and shooting them to, uh, you know, to train with them to be more effective at protecting themselves and their families. There's a lot of good people out there that unfortunately get the shaft from this, uh, this, this situation. And in the end, it really just comes down to money and politics once again. Lives are lost and people are making money on it and it's disgusting. So... Fight the good fight, you know, do whatever you can to, uh, to help prevent this from happening, but hear me now, it's going to happen. None of us are going to like it, but it's going to happen. Um, I I want to say go out and buy the guns you want now before they're illegal, but I really don't want anyone to support these these companies. They're, they're jacking up prices and, and like, like I said, literally making fistfuls of cash because of these... Uh, you know, these, these people who had passed away. Uh, no, they, were, they didn't pass away. They were murdered. All right. These little innocent kids were murdered. And uh, someone says, Ooh, you know what? It's time to make some money now. It's disgusting. It sickens me. So I don't want you to support these people. If you, if you happen to, you know, have a nice uh, local gun shop or somewhere, you know, and you, the guy's always been nice or something like that, you know them. And yeah, sure, buy from them. Support, some, support the small small uh, shops if you're going to be out buying your, your scary guns right now because you're afraid they're not going to be around. I can tell you this. I think that even if they do become illegal like another assault weapons ban, they'll be around. Prices will just be up through the roof. So, I don't know. Another scare tactic. Who knows? There's a lot of people out there who think that, you know everything's a conspiracy theory. But I don't know. I don't really... It's interesting to think of the... You know, to consider conspiracy theories. I don't think that none of them are ever true. But it's still interesting nonetheless. Um, anyway, that's it. Uh, the gist of this video is basically an update to my last one saying, in the end, we're screwed. And uh, we will be hurt because of this. And when I say we, I'm talking to good law-abiding gun owners. We're going to suffer from this. We're going to be penalized for one crazy guy's actions and a bunch of politicians, uh, you know, greed. And um, that's unfortunate. But that's life. Life's not fair. And I do predict uh, we, we will be screwed from this. And it's not going to change a, a single thing. There will be another shooting sometime in the future. And then we'll all point fingers and say, well, you know, you change the laws for nothing. And maybe you'll go back and forth, back and forth. What difference does it make? Guns have not gotten more dangerous. Just because they can shoot faster or hold more rounds in them, you know, or have bigger rounds or faster rounds none of that makes a difference a gun is a gun a gun hurts people right but look at history why weren't there a bunch of shootings back in the 50s or 60s why is it all of a sudden there's a bunch of shootings is it because there's more guns no is it because it's easier to get guns i don't think so i can pretty much guarantee it's a lot easier to get a gun back in 1950 than it is today i think it's just because people have changed people have gotten so screwed up our society our world is so messed up. It's the people, not the tool. There's more bad people. That's why there's more public shootings. It's as simple as that. There's nothing we can do except for get rid of the bad people. So focus on getting some nut jobs in the nut house and focus on getting some criminals in jail. Don't focus on good people like me 
and the rest of the YouTubers out there making gun videos. We have nothing to do with this. It has nothing to do with us. And don't think we're crazy because we want more guns around. Or we want to be able to have the right to keep our guns. That's as sane as you can get. And as logical as you can get. <sighs> frustrating. It's a very frustrating thing. Uh, I do appreciate everyone's opinion. Even if you're really against guns, I understand and accept your position. I respect your opinion. I just respectfully disagree. That's all. So, stay safe. Um, do what you can, you know, to fight the fight. But uh, I'll be here to make another video when all this goes down. And, you know, I don't like the I told you so's, but I, I feel strongly that I'm right about this. And I hope to God I'm wrong. But we'll see. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. See you soon.